Have you ever used return or break inside a finally block and thought, hey, this works just fine? So what's the problem? Well, in Python 3.14, that's about to become a problem. Let's talk about a small change. That could save you from some seriously confusing bugs. So here's the deal. In Python 3.13 and below, the language technically allows you to use return, break, or continue inside a finally block. It works, but not in the way you might expect. Let me show you. Now wait a second. We raised an exception in the try block, right? But Python just returns from the finally block like nothing happened. The exception, gone, swallowed. That's dangerous. Because now, the error is silently ignored. No logs, no traceback, just a quiet little bug. This behavior has confused Python developers for years. And sure, the docs explain it, but let's be real. Who reads the docs that closely when stuff seems to just work? But here's the thing. A recent deep dive into over 120 million lines of Python code found something interesting. Use of return, break, or continue in finally blocks is rare. And most of the time, it's wrong. Like this. Seems harmless. But if something risky raises an exception, the finally block will return instead of letting the exception bubble up. That means your program silently ignores the failure. That's not good. So in Python 3.14, PEP765 is stepping in. Starting now, if you try this, you'll get a syntax warning. Not a full error, but a clear warning. Same goes for break and continue. They're also flagged. Python wants to guide you away from a feature that causes more harm than good. What's the fix then? It's usually simple. Just move the control flow outside the finally block. Here's how you can rewrite the previous example safely. Or if you absolutely must clean up something, do it in the finally block. But leave the return outside. This way, the finally block does its job, but without messing with your return logic or suppressing exceptions. Should you worry? Honestly? Not really. These patterns show up about two to four times per million lines of code. But if you're writing a library or working with older code, keep an eye out. So if your code gets a syntax warning in Python 3.14, don't panic. It's probably just trying to protect you from an invisible bug. If you found this informative, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.